greenhouse frame. Um, this is an eight footer right here. And those we ended up scabbing two pieces together to get the 50 inches we needed because I couldn't carry the 10 foot boards in the truck. And then what we did to make sure we had a square was we used scrap pieces, leftovers off of the eight footers uh, to make the square. And then because we had more scrap, at the end of each 50 inch panel, we had a, we have a, right there's the 50 inch mark. So in other words, this is the bottom. We're on the, we're on the ground side. We're upside down. But the panel will sit in here, and then when you get to the where the meld is between the two panels, it'll sit here, and you go over here, and it'll sit here, and then it'll sit here. And then you go over to the other side, and it does the exact same thing. So that's it. Now we're going to go over, set it up where we want. Um, we're going into our area one, which is pretty much the front yard, and uh, we'll get it set up, and then we'll pop the panels up real quick. So here we go. Okay, we just put our three panels up. Worked out fairly well. Um, we're getting ready to take some black UV zip ties, put those together. That worked out just about perfect. Now what we're going to do here is this piece here that we use to splice this, we've got some more of them. Uh, this is eventually going to come off the outside. What we're going to do is we're going to use, we're going to pin them on the inside. In other words, I'm going to do another one of these on the inside there and there so therefore when we lay our plastic on it will uh, it won't have any sharp edges like that here it is uh, the next phase we just did was we just went in and zip tied uh, we haven't done the horseshoe nails yet and what we did is we started we did all we started the second rung up or the first rung up however you want to look at it and then went back and did the bottom ones they need to be tightened up a little more but you see we basically did every other one had somebody holding it together while the other person did the did the zip tying so that's it uh we'll keep moving on this is gonna take a couple days little thing we've done uh got a couple plants in there she planted a bunch of plants and i took some of my pots in. i don't have my dirt ready yet but there's my little uh, yanmar tractor i brought some chips over and actually that's not mulch it's actually more like compost because when i reached in was putting that in a bucket it was actually almost burning me it was so hot inside and up there we've got that's an elderberry closest to us there the far one out there in the tire in the center, that is a uh, pomegranate. But what we did here was, we, uh, of course the dog has her ball over here, she plays in the sprinkler. Um, we brought our fig tree over, our peaches, our two grapefruits, our avocados over there, which are looking awesome. Those avocados are just going insane. But uh, what we did was, the shade cloth is doing really great, it's putting good shade on the plants, it's getting filtered light, it's working out really good. The, the little seedlings inside are doing really well. I put the sprinkler on side and I'll show you what it looks like in a second. But it's raining inside, just not quite as intense as the sprinkler is. And we're getting good runoff and turning around and going down and watering the other trees. Okay. Now here's the things that she planted. I don't know if you can hear it or see the water. Uh, so there's a couple things that she planted. I don't exactly know what it is. And then she's got her little pots over here. She's got her beets in and that kind of stuff. I think this is beets, that's what she said. 
got a couple things over there. Now, over here is where I just put my chips down, my uh, mulch, or compost, however you want to look at it. And I just went into the back and got my pots and uh, brought them up here because they were getting cooked down there. And this is her other bed over here, which is where she's going to put her next set. Um, this was originally supposed to be just for trees, but it ended up going this way. Let me zoom back out here. And there you have it. And there's the dog. Hey, get out of there. So she's got her stuff over there and over here. And we did a lot of building. All I got is that little bitty box in the back. So that's it. But uh, not sure if you can see the, the water. I know it's all over the front of my phone. But uh, it's working great. It's just doing this little rain thing. We get a good downpour. What's really nice with this is with these small ceilings, the downpour won't just pummel them into the ground and kill them. So I think this is going to be really good stuff. Well, there you have it. Okay, here we go. Here's a bunch of her stuff she's got in. We picked up these little pods. I'll show you a picture here in a minute. We got them at Walmart. They were 75 cents on sale. They're really not stuff that's really going to grow real well in the wintertime. But since we now we have the greenhouse, we're going to put it all in. Now what I got here is I got, there's four basils I put in. Here's the cover for it. And the basil and the oregano do really good. So what I did was I broke up some of the oregano plants I had in pots up at the house and planted them in the ground there. I've also got the basil and oregano over there. And over here I've got the sage pots. There's four. There's one there. There's one there. There's one there. And there's one over here. And this is what the sage pots look like. Again, 75 cents. And inside they've got the instructions on what to do and how to do it and all that. So what I did was I've got wood chips just like this on the bottom for a base. There's cardboard under that and then wood chips. And then I had a little bit of miracle Grow dirt left over, so I put it under. Uh, but the sage and the uh, some of the more evergreen type plants don't like it uh, that much. So what I did was I went and got some sand out of the driveway because we got a lot of sugar sand to put that down. Now to keep the moisture on it, I'm going to throw wood chips over it. So there it is, and I'll show you a picture here in a minute when I get the wood chips on. Okay, there you go. That's what it looks like with the chips on it. Uh, it's a five-gallon bucket. I probably didn't even use half the bucket of the chips, but we're going to lay it out on the floor here in here anyway. Keep the moisture up. Okay, so that's it. There's that. And I'll get a shot here in a second of the, uh, you see the floor here. What we're going to do here is we're going to end up putting chips on both sides and then right down the middle. And that'll really keep the moisture up in here. Uh, make it like a sauna. All right, and we'll see what the temperature is here in just a second.